It's currently 10.09 p.m. Most recently, over the past hour or two, I've been working on the side of this knee pad. Yeah, but soon I'm going to go to bed in order to stay on a good sleep schedule. Throughout the day, I recall working on the first working on the camo pattern for the side of this knee pad. And then I did the details for the pocket lids and the buttons that are primarily on the front of these jeans. Did those finer details while well, essentially at the same time doing this camo pattern for which my current philosophy is that it involves general irregular shapes and there's more to it than essentially drawing clouds and then after I was done with this and this I colored in this area using this to trace around the outline of the tactical glove and the bottom of the belt before filling in the area with this. I recall getting up today around 8 in the morning. Actually, that's around the time I woke up for today. But I didn't really get up until about half-an-hour later or so. And then around 9 in the morning, I had a peanut butter and jelly bagel sandwich. with my first cup of coffee, plain coffee for today. I recall having my usual two to three cups pretty slowly today. Having them roughly from 9 in the morning to about 1 or 2 p.m. Somewhere between 1 and 2 p.m is when I finished the last of the coffee. From the pot dad made in the morning. Dad went to Salvatore's today after work and got 
this pizza. And I specifically requested these toppings. Crispy chicken, sausage, and bacon. Initially it was ham, crispy chicken, and bacon. But then I decided that ham would be too similar to bacon. And so I decided to swap the ham out for sausage. Dad cut up some of the block of sharp cheddar cheese he got the other day. He cut some of it up. Not too long ago. Maybe two hours ago. at most around 3:15 p.m. I decided to have another peanut butter and jelly bagel sandwich Primarily because there was another bagel that bagel that he pre-cut for me in the morning. And I figured it would be a good main part of the meal. for lunch and I could have the leftover sausage from last night that dad told me about during a phone call I could have that sausage on the side along with that peanut butter and jelly bagel I managed to lightly toast the bagel halves that I had for lunch yeah, whereas before I wouldn't really manage to Toasted in terms of changing the color of the bagel halves in the toaster. Both times I had a peanut butter and jelly bagel sandwich. As I bit into them, they overflowed a bit, but 
that was perfectly all right. The plate was there to catch the droppings. If I recall correctly, around 1 p.m. or so, they had called me to let me know about a package that was right at the front door. So I went outside briefly to bring it into the house. It was a sort of medium-sized cardboard box and that turned out to be mostly filled with paper that's colored like cardboard. Yeah, but at the bottom of that box were the two bigger, roughly five inch or so, polystring balls that he ordered on line some days ago. Initially, I ripped at the paper before deciding to just take all the paper out, throwing the paper away in the process in order to get to those polystring balls. It turned out they weren't the ideal styrofoam. It turns out they were more what I would call flake foam. I don't know the technical term for that kind of craft foam. Yeah, but it's not the kind I have historically used most often. Still, I could at some point draw something on them. For the time being, oh, they're laying within a sort of spare room where most of the polystrain at Dad's place currently is. If I recall correctly, today was mostly a comfortable spring day, with uh, my guess it being just partially cloudy. And I don't recall it raining at any point today.